lot of reasons. One is um, it's, it helps me to stress. I've always been a bit of a water baby, so I've always really enjoyed swimming. Right now, I'm fortunate enough I can swim at lunchtime. I always describe my time when I swim, when I'm out in the open water, as my zen time. I mean, the obvious reason is for fitness, for strength, for exercise, but you know, I've been through some rough patches in the last few years and it's really helped me keep stuff together. The exercise, uh, to keep in shape, and a um, variety of reasons. Because I believe that I'm happier in the water than out of the water. You know, I started swimming probably when I was four or five. We had a pool in our backyard. Um, I swam as a child uh, for about six years, when I was about 10 to about 16. I started swimming uh, when I was age five. Well, I started swimming when I was six and uh, almost quit by the time I was eight. You know, I took swim lessons when I was four or five. My mom was a lifeguard. All my older brothers and sisters swam. Swimming is a sport that can actually save your life. For one, I believe that people who don't swim are really missing out. But just even from a safety perspective, it's just critical, I think, that we get people in the water going through lessons at a young age. But is swimming absolutely the, the perfect exercise for everybody? Maybe not, but you should at least know how to move around in the water. You know, I've got a lot of significant memories of swimming, but I think the most significant one is the first time I swam from Alcatraz to San Francisco. It have to be when I made the Olympic team. Uh, in the 400 I am, 1980, at Irvine. I remember it very well. <laughs> the before, during, and a little bit after. I definitely remember the before and during. Just jumping off that ship, off the ferry, and landing 10 feet deep in the bay, and then surfacing and looking around, and there's Alcatraz, there's San Francisco, there's a thousand other people swimming. Is something I'll never forget. And in 2009, I was I spent 23 days in the hospital. A year and a half later, I competed at the at the nationals, masters nationals in Mesa, Arizona, and I was second in the 1650 in my age group. As a 50-something year old woman, I was required to stand up on a block and dive off, and I had not done that since I was like 16. Representing the United States would probably be the most significant in terms of what, what everybody thinks of. I would also say, though, that for me, it's a lot of little things. One of the best things about swimming so much is that I get to eat pretty much all the cake I want to. You know, I mean, as a little kid, I remember, you know, having jello, you know, like <laughs> putting your finger in the jello and, you know, or was laying on the cement outside because you got so cold in practice that you had to, you know, lay down on the cement to keep warm and, and little things like that that aren't definitely significant in terms of what most people think of, but I think they all add up to a picture that um, created a lot of really amazing memories that are things that I would never forget.